Even during the initial closed beta of Path of Exile, people were wowed by the game's skill system. Unlike previous action RPGs, the ability to store a skill in an alterable, tradable item gave incredible potential and value to skills. Your skills weren't locked behind a cluttered game menu or hard to navigate tree. They were physical items that you found or traded other valuable loot for. Sure, it may be clunky at first, but you quickly realize the value and innovation stored within skill and support gems in Path of Exile. In the 12 years since Path of Exile's closed alpha, the skill system has not been altered much, despite the introduction of dozens and dozens of new skills and ways to use them. With the release of Path of Exile 2, the game's most substantial expansion in its history, that's about to change for the better. For uninitiated, potential, or new exiles out there, or those who would like a friendly reminder, Here's how Path of Exile's skill system presently operates. Skills are stored in skill gems. Skill gems can be altered or improved by support gems. A skill gem might allow a character to loose a barrage of three arrows. A support gem for that skill might cause it to split further, ricochet off enemies, deal a certain type of elemental damage, or transform into a volley of arrows. The possibilities are endless. The gear we wear, chest armor, Weapons, rings, boots, etc. can hold all these gems in sockets. When we put a skill gem into an equipped piece of gear, we gain that skill as long as we meet its other requirements, usually level and strength, dexterity, or intelligence minimums. Both sockets and gems have a certain color, red, blue, or green. To insert a gem into a piece of gear, it must match the color. If we would like a skill gem to be supported by another gem or multiple other gems and change the skill gem, we need to link the sockets on our gear and ensure the gems are compatible. Sockets can drop naturally linked or be linked using orbs of fusing and a few other crafting methods. Of course, this being Path of Exile, there are exceptions. White sockets or white gems allow any color into them. Some items allow gems in other equipped items to affect other equipped gear. Some items have gems built into them. It's a deep and sometimes complicated system that can get confusing especially when constantly swapping around or upgrading pieces of gear. None of these exceptions are likely changing in PoE2, but the system itself is experiencing an overhaul. During ExileCon 2019, Grinding Gear Games announced how the skill gem system would be revamped in Path of Exile 2. If you didn't catch this, weren't a sane exile yet, or would like to relearn what they told us, here is the full breakdown. Post Path of Exile 2's launch, Gear in Path of Exile will still have up to four sockets, but those sockets will not link. Instead, the gems our gear hold will have up to five more sockets that can be found already linked to the skill gem. Succinctly, we'll no longer need to link gear, we'll need to find linked gems themselves. Gear and gems will still have colors, some gear pieces will even have multicolor sockets. This overhaul transforms and improves the skill gem system in four vital ways. First off, the revamped skill gem system will provide far more clarity on the skills our character uses, how they are being altered, and how we can improve them further. Although we still socket the skill gems themselves in our gear, we can then view the skill gems and all the support gems affecting each other in a brand new piece of user interface, the gem screen. It's an exciting addition to the game that will not only allow us to see our skills clearly, but allow us to share them in a far more digestible manner. Plus, the game will no longer allow players to make the mistake of socketing a support gem into a skill gem it cannot interact with. This will be a nice boon for new players crafting their own repertoire of skills. Importantly, the menu looks sleek. It's not convoluted, you don't need to navigate around it. It's an all-in-one place to see your gems and the items they're attached to. That's it, no other clutter. Next up, this updated mechanic will allow this simple, quick upgrading or changing out of new items we find on the ground or via trading. By default, certain item classes will always drop with a set amount and color range of sockets. For example, all bows will drop with four green sockets. All wraith armor will drop with two blue sockets and two green sockets. For characters upgrading between similar versions of gear, 
this will make those upgrades nearly seamless. Of course, for characters using off-color sockets or odd combinations, there will still be management necessary. But during leveling, when most gear changes occur frequently, this transferability is a massive improvement. Even better, instead of needing to move entire skill and support gem clusters from one piece of gear to another, since all support gems will now be stored in the skill gem, it's just a few clicks. Far less clunky than the present indeed. Third, this big skill gem system overhaul will provide new value to our gems, both in trade and solo style play environments. Currently, we only determine a gem's value by its gem level, quality, and alternate quality. When PoE 2 hits, we'll be able to value our gems by all the aforementioned aspects plus the number of sockets and links. This adds a new ho oh, wow drop to the game similar to the smashing of a six link falling on the ground. In addition, we'll be receiving a few meta gems, gems that allow unique types of customization. For example, a meta gem that holds auras and will allow all of them to be activated by a single button pressed will be available. Juicy stuff. To round out the largest improvements from this core system update, let's look at the potential this provides our characters. Presently, in most cases, a character who wields a two-handed weapon may have two six-linked skill gems, and a character with a one-handed weapon or no weapon may have a maximum of one six-linked skill gem. With Path of Exile 2's overhaul, every character may have the same max number of six linked skills. That's mind blowing. Of course, this will likely come with sweeping changes to existing skills, which will be akin to total apocalypse in the eyes of many PoE Redditors. It's clear the toning down of gem power has been ongoing for a decent stretch of time now, but with PoE 2's arrival, more changes are surely on the way. Counter to these four improvements, there are some concerns that should be highlighted. With this new system, what's the advantage of two-handed weapons? Typically, a big plus would be the ability to use two six links. In PoE 2, this advantage will disappear. Perhaps they'll gain new powerful implicits, updates to their base stats, or some other potential passive bonuses from the skill tree. Additionally, this should move Path of Exile away from the current character build strategy of focusing around a single skill into something more like the just-released Diablo 4, wherein a set of skills are used on characters. How will PoE players react to this? Likely, they'll continue to try and optimize down to a single skill or small set of skills, as judged by many's attempts to create perfect auto-bombers in the game. There's also the possibility for initial clunkiness when PoE 2 releases. Although it appears to be an improvement over the current system, we've been using gems the same way for over a decade. As there's not going to be a slow transition to this new form of gem use, it might be quite the shock to many established players, and they may initially react negatively to it. Time will tell. Of course, there's also a plethora of items and unique items that will be updated thanks to this new system. They previewed a few at ExileCon 2019, but unlike this sweeping overhaul, many of those items could probably look very different in the present. It's possible some of these game-altering items with gems built into them may see a significant change in power, affecting builds in both PoE 2's Future Leagues and Standard League. Speaking of Standard, it's unclear what this migration will look like. Will all old skill gems be updated? Deleted? How about the gear? With fusings no longer needed to link gear or gems, Will they all disappear or will they become jeweler's orbs, as Jonathan Rogers hinted during the gem system presentation during ExileCon 2019? There are plenty of questions and concerns. Grinding Gear Games will need to address them before PoE 2 officially hits the PoE servers. Overall, this is looking to be a massive improvement for Path of Exile players old and new. GGG's solution to the increasingly cumbersome skill gem system is sure to reinvigorate large swaths of the community and attract new players with its sleek design. When Path of Exile 2 launches, leveling and item swaps will become far more streamlined, will have an updated class of items to chase and trade, and a wider array of upgradable skills to construct our characters with. Plus, a batch of brand new skill and support gems will arrive, like the werewolf skill gem. We'll visit this in a future video. Path of Exile 2 cannot arrive soon enough. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit the bell for more Path of Exile content. Give the video a like, and if you would like to share your totally not unhinged opinion in the comments. I'd love to see your version of the vision.
For those of you who'd like to join the ranks of us totally sane exiles and directly support the growth of this channel, consider becoming a member for just 99 cents per month. Of course, a huge shout out to our current members, Blazaka, Rob, and Murrum. Thank you so much for your support. Tala Moana.